to get back and start up the ship. Hope it's better. Uh-oh, that's not better. Nine. Oh, fire. That's not good. Oh. I think you're doing it wrong. Still no stasis. This is gonna be the bonus round here. Two more. No, you don't, bitch. Those are at home. It's the only way off the ship. Kendra. No, Hammond! This changes everything! Just let me think. Shut up, Kendra. Can you access the command computer? It's no good. There's an executive lockdown of all primary systems. Without the captain's authorization, I can't access them. Well, where's the captain? Here he is. Captain Benjamin Mathias. Location? Med lab. Status? Deceased. What? Uh oh. I can't access that information. Find the captain and you'll find his rig. With his authorization codes, I can crack this computer wide open. Damn it. Isaac, I'm sending the tram back to your location. Get to the medical deck and find that rig as fast as you can. What was that? Damn it, man. I'm an engineer, not a... Not a killer of whatever the hell that was. Down we go. Damn it. My health is nicked. It's not good. Let's cheat and use a small health pack. Now don't be doing that in your playthrough. You want to make sure one of those bars is completely empty. Did I explain health packs? I'll explain it again. Uh, excuse me, computer lady. I'm the one doing the walkthrough. So, how it works is small health packs will replenish one bar on Isaac's back. Medium health packs will replenish two. My voice just cracked again. Medium health packs will replenish two. Large health packs, which you'll find later on, I believe, replenish all of them. So, you don't want to be using those unless you absolutely have to. So now the store. I'll be visiting this, uh, these a lot throughout the game. So, how it works is you have your shop where you buy new things. You have your inventory, which is obviously what you're carrying. You have your safe, which is where you can store an endless amount of things. So, pretty much you want to keep your, uh, inventory space as empty as possible. Um, that way you can pick up new things. So, pretty much what I like to do is just so I can maximize, you know, have a nice balance between being prepared for whatever might happen and also being able to pick up a lot of things. Well, I always like to carry around one medium uh, health pack, I mean, one medium health pack, two small health packs, one stack of ammunition for however many weapons you have, obviously that weapon, and basically I like to keep the suit upgraded, which I will show you in a second. So we're just going to put all of our extra items in the safe. So. Just press A to when you select you know, obviously just select whatever item you want to put in the safe. When you have it highlighted in your inventory. And then just press A on move, and it'll go to your uh, safe. So I do that for the rest of my stuff. Uh, don't want to have any actually I'll keep one stasis pack with me. I only want one stack of ammunition. And you pretty much don't ever want to sell your uh, your health packs. You can sell extra ammunition if you have a lot of it in your safe, but uh pretty much want to hoard as much as possible. Okay, so the shop. So here you can buy new weapons, or you can buy new suits, and you can buy a new one right here. Some people like to say there isn't a huge difference between armor between the suits, which is true. However, it give, each suit gives you progressively more inventory space, which I think is very important, so I think it's a good investment. So we're going to go ahead now and buy the level 2 suit. And I can't get over how this actually looks kind of painful. 
the chunk and fire. Those doors are actually incredibly soundproof. He's screaming up a storm in there during that little process, and Isaac's like, ooh, I got some sexy new armor. I had some money left over, so there's two weapons you can actually buy right now. One of them is the line gun, which is like the, uh, it's kind of like a giant permanently horizontal plasma cutter with a big ass beam, and it also shoots timed mines as its alternative firing function, which is very, very handy. There's the pulse rifle, which is pretty much your assault rifle in the game. It's the only true weapon in the game where it's not actually a tool. Um, and its alternative firing mode is this circular spray, which does nothing. Um, I like the line gun, because you kind of get a one-two punch in there with stasis and a timed mine, so we're going to buy that. Uh, don't buy ammo unless you absolutely have to. Um, don't buy air cans, because you'll they'll always be scattered around where you would need them. Um, so, all I'm going to do now is this point I'm going to cut and I will come back when I uh, when I've gone back and I've collected all the items and put them in the safe so I will see you in a few minutes except when this is on YouTube it'll be a few seconds that's nice computer and we're back bit of an ordeal but Trust me, it's worth it in the long run to start hoarding items now. Uh, there's a bench over there, but I'm not really sure why. I guess if you didn't upgrade items before, then that gives you a chance, but... For now, that's pretty much it. Congratulations! We just finished Chapter 1 of Dead Space. Complete. Let's go ahead and save. Saving's always good. So that's all for now. Tune in, and next time, you can join me when we go through Chapter 2, Intensive Care. It's going to be exciting. So that's all for now. This is Bill from Nerd Nation Videos saying have a good one. Peace.